Uh, in the other chamber, uh, there's consideration for possible changes to border policy and asylum laws um, that's happening between both sides. If that is the cost for aid to Israel and to Ukraine, um, and it potentially doesn't have anything for, for DACA, is that something, how, how would your conference respond to something like that? Well, the president uh, submitted a comprehensive request for supplemental funding connected to America's national security priorities. That includes support for Israel, support for Ukraine, support for our allies in the Indo-Pacific, support for America's own military readiness, support for humanitarian assistance for civilians who are in harm's way, and uh, for supporting the effort to strengthen our border. And so I think uh, to the extent that there are bipartisan discussions in the Senate related to a comprehensive approach to meeting the national security needs of America and our allies throughout the world in a manner consistent with our values, then uh, we'll look at any bipartisan product that comes out of the Senate in good faith, which is very different than extreme MAGA Republicans putting on the House floor legislation that they know is dead on arrival in the Senate, that they know will be vetoed by President Biden, and that they know we will be unable to override that veto as House Democrats decisively demonstrated yesterday. The time for gamesmanship is over. What do my Republican colleagues not get about that? The world is on fire. We have real challenges here in America as we're trying to keep the great American middle class dream alive for people all across the land. And it's my hope that my Republican colleagues, who only represent barely half of one third of the federal government, will come to the conclusion that the only way forward is to find bipartisan common ground.